Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a creepy bone necklace for Halloween. Now, don't worry, it's not made out of real bones, unless you want to make it out of real bones. What you're going to need for this is some two-part molding material, and I've fully explained how to work with this material in our paper casting video. So look back at that one for instructions on how to work with this material. You'll also need some acrylic paint. The cool one I have here is some phosphorescent paint that will actually make your bone project glow in the dark so you're safe when you're out trick-or-treating. Other things that you may need would be some actual chicken bones, a pair of scissors, some jute cording, a paper egg carton, not a styrofoam one, a bottle of white glue, and you'll need a blender and some tap water. Now the process is really, really easy. What you're going to do is you're going to tear the egg carton up into small tiny pieces, soak it in water, overnight's best, then add some white glue to it and blend it up to make this type of a pulp. The pulp is then pushed into the mold that you've made from your bone. Now I have a little chicken bone in here, it pops right out and now it's ready to receive some of the paper pulp. Be sure to squish out all of the water and get as much paper as you possibly can into the mold and then you'll end up with little bones like these that are made out of paper. Now you can see they look just like the original real bone here. So if you're a vegan you're good to go. You can borrow, you can borrow your neighbor's bone and make your own little paper ones. The next thing that you want to do is to take one of the bones and give it a feeling that it's a real bone. So what I like to do is give it a nice light undercoating of some type of lighter bone colored paint. And this phosphorescent paint is actually really, really good for that. So you're gonna coat your whole bone, give it some time to dry. You can always go back and cover spots if you miss them. And then go ahead and add some accents color, accent colors to it. It's easy. So you can see I took a little bit of burnt sienna and some red to make it look like these bones had been gnawed on. The next thing that you need to do is apply them to your jute cording. This is super cheap material. Don't be afraid to pull off a big piece because you're going to wrap it around. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take the cord and just kind of sort of find the middle of it, make a loop, and just make a slip knot. That's all you're doing. Just like that. And you'll pick up one of the bones and just tie it off like that. Now if you want to make it look like it's tied on more securely, all you need to do is just wrap around a little bit, then come back with the cord and just make another slip knot. Just like that. Super duper easy and it will keep your bone nice and secure. So once you've got the bones secured onto the cord like this, and you can see I've spaced them out a little bit, I've added little bits of jute cording in between and just twisted the ends to make it look a little bit more messy and scary. Because what zombie is gonna be nice and neat and clean on Halloween? So once you've secured all of the bones, you can easily just tie it on. Now, if you are super hardcore, you can actually take real bones, like I've done here, and do the exact same thing. Remember, this molding material works great with anything. If you can sit still for 17 minutes, you could actually mold your thumb or your ear. And the paper elements are super light. You could actually turn these into earrings or any other type of accessory you want to wear on Halloween. I hope you have fun with this project. Check out our other videos on the onlinejewelryacademy.com. Thanks for watching.